hello everyone welcome to my new video in this video we will talk about the unified network application what improvements and what bug fixes has been done by the ubiquity as you all know the previous version 7.5.174 which was opt out from the journal access and it went to the release candidate because uh, some user reported a known issues which you uh, which you will see it was fixed on the 7.5.176 like uh, a rare issues where a wi-fi networks were getting paused after updating to 7.5 so that issues is fixed on uh, 7.5.176 also some of the issues were fixed like uh, you can't delete the firewall rules but on 7.5.176 you will be able to delete the firewall rules and you will see lots of improvements like after the release of 7.5.x version they have improved uh, the they have brought the features like animated topology where you can check the real uh, time internet traffic and the topology also you can check the device latency test so we will check all those uh, features and settings on the unify controller running on the hosted hostify controller so right now uh, this is my one of the sites running on this controller version 7.5.176 and uh, uh, first of all we will see the dashboard there is nothing has been changed on the dashboard side only you will see the internet activity has been changed previously it was the client uh, devices count how many clients wi-fi and white are connected uh, so it has been changed as the internet activity you can check the download and upload speed also uh, the traffic identification and everything remains same so then we will check over the topology here you can check the internet traffic like the visualization of the animated topology uh, in my previous video i've made a video about it, uh, how you can check the topology and uh, how you can check the latency test also we'll check the latency test here also it's uh, work fine so you can check the latency on the uh, wired devices as well as the wi-fi devices so that's a good feature you can have in your network yeah after that uh, they have brought uh, lots of improvements and uh, features uh, like if you check under the settings uh, and under the application firewall uh, under the firewall rules uh, you were unable to delete uh, the firewall rules uh, so right now you can't uh, you can delete the firewall rules from here if you click on manage and click uh, on uh, check the option of the firewall route and you can remove it previously on the 7.5.174 it was not working so that has been fixed also uh, like uh, you will get the more wi-fi insights like the coverage what's your uh, ap uh, signal density the maximum throughput rate and everything you will check uh, under the coverage and even you can check the connectivity like how many clients are connected and what's the authentication every uh i think you will see the new features on the new ui even you can check your environment scan like uh, you can check the nearby uh, access point which are connected to the network what the signal strength so you can tweak your in uh, wi-fi network settings like uh, signal strength and everything uh and one of the thing you will notice on 7.5.16 uh, when you click on the system you will see the they have changed the settings positions like uh, previously it was on the vertical side right now uh, it is set on the horizontal uh, in the column wise where you can check journal updates uh, backups and advanced settings so yeah uh, that helps also uh, they are trying to improve the i mean new ui uh, uh, and uh, they are forcing the customers to uh, choose the new ui instead of the legacy ui as you know uh, like the new ui brings a lot of changes uh, with the port profile how you can create a vlan port profile like uh, on the legacy ui and the previous controller version running on 7.3 uh, x version like 8.3 or 7.6 uh, uh, you can just simply create a custom port profile and set the port profile on that port but on the uh, latest controller version starting from 7.4.162 to the latest one 7.5.176 six they have changed the profile options where you can set the uh, check the 
uh, switch port and set the network primary which is your untagged network and you can set the traffic restrictions uh, either allow or block you don't need to set the custom port profile on that so that has been changed also one thing you will uh, see the changes on the new ui if uh, you create a hotspot portal for the guest network uh, you will see the hotspot manager on your left hand side and you just click on the hotspot manager you can create a landing page vouchers and everything you can set it here and this uh, option has been removed over from the legacy ui so uh, for hotspot portal wlan schedule and everything you need to be on the uh, new ui you can check under the new ui you can schedule for the vlan and everything so everything is been moved back on the uh, new ui and we can check the udr uh, network application which is running on the same uh, network uh, controller version 7.5.16 uh, right now you can see this is my uh, udr i'm running you can check the unify portal and i can show you the unify console it's already updated to 7.5.16 i have choose early access so that's why it's showing update options so i will check the network application and you will see the udr as a different uh, i mean uh, features like uh, you can set the teleport vpn directly from here and you can set the vpn server wired guard open vpn l2tp vpn client side to side vpn which all these features is not available on the older gateways like usg 3p and 4p and you will see lots of features here you can simply create a new network here and there is a global network setting switch settings so yeah it has been improved on the new user interface so i think that's it for the today's video if you like this video please share my youtube video and subscribe to my channel and if you need anything else you can comment down uh, and let me know uh, if you have any questions thanks for watching bye